After 4 months of game development, I have finally started adding sound effects. Here's a taste. If there's one thing I learned this week, it's not to underestimate sounds. Yes, they make a huge difference, but that's not only what I mean. It's also the amount of work that comes with adding sounds. I hunted down more than 50 sound effects so far, edited some too, but it still feels like I'm only halfway done. I need more, and many of the current ones don't really fit the game. I wish I had started working on audio earlier. I added a new wave type, but speaking of waves, check the top left corner first. There's a new wave indicator graphic to juice up the UI. Up until now, the game only had the undead wave and the nature wave, cycling endlessly, one after the other. But now, there's the third one, which is the orc rush wave. It's supposed to be a challenging round, the orcs are tough, fast, and can corner you quickly if you don't have a good position. Every fifth wave is an orc wave, so you better be prepared. Another change for this week is the level 3 tornado. I added this pebble throwing effect to make it more visually pleasing and be worthy of a maxed out spell. I added a new player spell, which I thought would be fun. It's called Tranquility. Fun fact, there's a tradition in Spellguardia that all player spells start with the letter T. Telekinesis, Time Lock, Turret, Teleport, and now Tranquility. Its effect is simple, the next spell you cast does not go on cooldown. You can use it to cast Meteor Shower twice, or Blizzard. Or even Dark Soul, to have two powerful summons at the same time. This game is about casting spells, so what else could be better than casting them twice? If you are interested in the technical parts, I'm using HowlerJS for its simple audio loading and playing API. I am imitating spatial audio by calculating the volume based on the distance from the listener, as well as the stereo effect based on the exposition difference. If the game wants to play a sound that had just played, like only a fraction of a second ago, I skip it, to get rid of the loud spikes. Those can happen when many things explode at the same time and play the get hurt audio. By the way, a good technique to make sound effects feel less repetitive is randomizing the pitch each time you play a sound, which I'm not doing yet, as I don't think it's supported by HowlerJS directly. The plan is that I'm going to continue working on the sound effects and music, but also start figuring out how to bundle and release the game. That means creating a trailer, setting the Steam page up, and then probably using NWJS to bundle the game to an executable that I can ship. Pretty exciting times, but also a lot of work. Until next time.